All right, we have arrived. When did Grandma get a Beamer? I don't know. Ma, listen, I'm letting you know right now that I'm not taking BS from none of them this year. If any one of them decides to come for me, I'm shooting back with a quickness. Deja, what are you talking about? Don't you remember last year? I think this is the album that's gonna make it big, y'all. Well, that's great, nephew. I knew it. I knew you was gonna make something for yourself. So what song are you putting on that thing, huh? Paid in full. And... That's it. Looks like I spoke too soon. You do realize that by definition, an album is supposed to have over 30 minutes worth of songs, right? 30 minutes? That's like seven songs. It took me weeks just to finish this one. Ooh, Deja, who are you texting? A guy? No, I don't have time for guys. Oh, is that what it is? It being what? The reason guys don't talk to you. Yeah, I mean, what else would it be? Ooh, how do I put this? Well, for one, you're 18 and you're built like a 12 year old. Also, might I add, you have people call a face only a mother could love. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Yeah, so this year, I'm not keeping quiet. If somebody says something, I'm gonna step and I won't stop you. Now let's go. Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandma. Oh, hi, y'all. The food is almost ready. Everybody's already at the table. Deja, go say hi to everybody. You got it, dude. My granddaughter's a goofball. <laughs> I could have told you that. Hey, Kazo, how are things? Pretty good. Oh, that's great. I don't think I've ever introduced you to Jonathan. So? We've met several times. Oh. And you reintroduce him every single time. Somebody sounds malicious. I think Darren has a point. All right, y'all, then they serve. Who wants to pray? I'll pray, Grandma. Dear Lord, we are thankful for the opportunity to come together as a family. We pray that you make the food nourishing for our bodies and ask that you bless the hands that have prepared it. And don't forget the bellies of those that eat it. <laughs> That's right, Uncle Bernie. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Let's eat. So Deja, how's school going? Oh, don't bother with that, Grandma. She didn't re-enroll this semester. Ain't that right, Cuzzo? Why does that not surprise me? She knows no commitment or dedication because her mother has no backbone herself. Could never finish anything when we were children. Gymnastics? Dropped out. Piano? Quit that. Do you even have a degree, Lisa? First of all, Mom, I got this. Hey, Auntie Linda, how are your kids? I oh, that's right. You had a run in with CPS because you couldn't commit to your AA meetings. How many glasses of cranberry juice have you had already, Auntie? The only thing you were committed to when we were kids was being passed around by the football team pipe down. And what's really disrespectful is you coming to Thanksgiving dinner dressed like a pirate. Would you look at that, everyone? Little Dej has finally stepped out of her shell. Shorty gets some contacts and her face cleans up and she starts feeling herself. <laughs> Congratulations. Darren, you don't want to start. Oh, please, Deja, I'm not phased by the words of children. Mm, so how's the music career going, Kazo? Must not be going too well given the fact you're in the same outfit as last year, you know, with the, the fake coochie jacket and whatnot. I'll have you know, little girl, that I... That you what? are 27 years old with no job? Or that you quit your well-paying job to pursue music and then quit that because it was too much work for you? Yo, Joe, what's up with you? You woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something? <laughs> like... Nah, I slept pretty good last night. How about you, cuz? Is your homie's couch comfy? Very, actually. Mm, that's good to hear. Must be a blast being broke, lazy, and spending the majority of your time playing online video games with 12-year-olds. Ah, uh -uh, nope. You're wrong. 
Bryson wears 17, not 12. You're <laughs> this girl. That's just sad, if you. You want to talk about sad, Uncle Bernie? Yeah, what's sad is this mac and cheese, Linda brought. Just dry. How the hell you make mac and cheese dry, Linda? You complain, and yet it still seems to have left your plate. Just as your wife left you, dear brother. I'll have you know that I left her. She wasn't wife material. The woman couldn't cook or clean. And from the Texas mac and cheese, neither could you. The only people at this table who make a decent wife is Ma and Grace. I'm sorry, what year are we in? Don't even bother with that. He's been sexist our entire lives. Has he always eaten like a pig too? No, that's stress eating as a result of the divorce. Ain't nobody stressed about that useless excuse for a wife. Gross, Uncle B. But he might actually have a point, Dej. You might do better with yourself if you had a man in your life. Your body's developed a little bit, so maybe guys will actually start to look your way. Whatever happened to that guy I set you up with? Oh, he turned out to be a dirty narcissist. Dirty narcissist? He was convinced he was always the smartest and best looking person in the room, but somehow, don't ask me how, he left skid marks on his bed sheets. Look, I don't know, but that was an infection waiting to happen and I was good. Needless to say, Kuzo, I don't trust your judgment when it comes to men. At all. Just based off the one guy? Of course not. You're still messing with this loser after he cheated on you like three times. And whenever he catches him his affairs, he passes on to you and you act like you don't know. I oh wait, wait, never mind. You actually have to be together for it to be considered cheating. <laughs> Y'all been in the talking stage for like three years now? You don't think anybody's noticed that you only ever introduced him as just Jonathan? Come on now, cuz how long you gonna wait on this nigga to tie the knot? Mmm. Miss Linda, the mac and cheese is really good. Babe, I think I had some of this mac and cheese. You're sounding real jealous, Dej. Don't worry, boo. You'll find a good man who will tolerate your childlike figure. Baby girl! What is there to be jealous of? The fact that I look my age and am happy with a man and you can't find one to save your life. <laughs> so I have to laugh. What's funny? Well, for one, the fact that you always fall back on my body like that's supposed to hurt me because I didn't get booze when I was 11. Big deal. And for two, you act like you know so much about love. But this nigga's been using you for your pockets for the past three years. How much you drop on him for Christmas? Well, like two, three bands? Will he get you for your birthday this year? Oh, right. Not a damn thing. <laughs> you messing with a broke boy, Grace, but that's none of my business. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not broke, all right? I'm just down and out right now. This is a very temporary situation. Man, if you don't shut your bankrupt, no money on my car, face ass up, Jonathan. Uh-oh. Does Grace Thomas not have a comeback? You're still built like a 12 year old. Sure am. And that joke is getting kind of tired, love. Maybe you'll come up with something better next year. Well, at least I'm not a college dropout. At least the clinic doesn't know me by name. Now that's enough. We get it. Grace is blind as a bat and Ditsy has a blonde. Jonathan's a cheating moocher. Darren's a lazy couch potato. Linda's a drunk. Bernie's a sexist glutton in denial. Lisa can't commit to anything and Deja's a dropout. Y'all do this every year. Can I get one year where y'all just get along? Probably not. Nah. You know what? I give up. Everyone, go around the table. Say what you're thankful for. Deja, you start. I'm thankful for my wonderful and loving family. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.